I'm glad that you're an angel. I'm glad that you're here with me. I'm glad that you're an angel, a part of Unique Mystery. So today, angels, we're going to be talking about social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety disorder and what it's like living with it. It is hard, angels. It is very, very, very hard and difficult living with social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety disorder is a mental illness and you just have so much anxiety that you cannot control it's like it's horrible it's like you're uncomfortable all the time well most of the time you are uncomfortable you hate crowds you hate being around people at times sometimes you want to be around people and you want to enjoy yourself but because of your anxiety, it's like, it's just so hard. So it's like you just do your best. You try your best to push your, push your way through the anxiety. You just try your best, the best way you know how. Um, I've been diagnosed with social anxiety some years and years ago. Um, before I was diagnosed with social anxiety, I already knew that there was a problem. I was always having extreme anxiety um, back in school. I used to have horrible anxiety. I hated being in a crowd. Um, it would just bother me and irritate me, and I'd be so uncomfortable. But <sighs> there is no such thing as dropping out of school for me or my mama. So I had to fight my way through school, and that's what I did. But it was very difficult. You know, it was very difficult. And back when I was back in school, of course, I did not know I had social anxiety disorder, but I knew there was a problem, you know. I knew there was a problem. Uh, and years ago, when I got out of school, I went to see a counselor for the first time. And... I was diagnosed with social anxiety. Um, I was happy that it had a name to it because I was starting to feel like I was an alien, okay? I was like, why do I feel this way? Why do I get so uncomfortable? Why do I have all of this anxiety inside of me? And I just thought I was an alien. I thought nobody else would understand how I, I thought nobody else would understand how I was feeling. I thought nobody else would get it. So I just felt like I was an alien. So once I got diagnosed with social anxiety, I felt better. You know, I said, well, it's a name to it. I could get some help for it. There's a possibility I can get better. You know, there's medicines, you know, for anxiety there is counseling for anxiety. 
Um, I've never taken, well, one time I tried the medicine for my anxiety. I was on the medicine for maybe a few months and I decided to stop taking the medicine because it wasn't doing anything for me. Maybe I should have, you know, tried the medicine out a little longer. But I mean, it wasn't doing anything for me. I didn't see a difference. So I just stopped taking the medicine. But as far as that, that was the only medicine that I ever tried for my anxiety. And um, since then, I've just been praying. I use prayer. Um, if I'm having too much anxiety, I just don't do, you know, I just don't do anything. Like if I wanted to go out somewhere, if my anxiety was so horrible, like I would just stay home. I'm not gonna like push myself to go if my anxiety is so overwhelming that I don't think I can handle it. But I do push myself sometimes because I like there there are things that I wanna do. So I have to push myself and just ignore my anxiety, ignore what my anxiety is telling me and how it's making me feel. And I have to just push myself to do certain things. Some days, you know, it's better, you know. Some days I wake up and I don't feel like I really have social anxiety because those are just the better days, you know. And like, I so appreciate the better days when I feel like there's no anxiety. I'm not panicking about anything and I'm just going with the flow. Those are the better, better days. But there are times when I just have to push myself to do things. And, you know, I feel like I do a pretty good job.